Is Houston not the place for me? Hey y'all, welcome to Wind Out with Chardonnay. In today's video, it's gonna be a pros and cons of living in Houston. So I have my list right here. When I was making this list, I couldn't think of that many pros. So I'm just like, is Houston not the place for me? But I don't want to deter anybody from moving here. But maybe Houston is just not the place for me. Anyway, let's get right into it, okay. We're gonna start with the pros. The first pro is, it's always something to do. Like, every single day of the week, you can go be doing something. It's Monday, something is popping off. Wednesday night, something is happening. Like, literally, every single day, something to do after hours. You'll never be bored, I'll say that. Another pro is, it's a lot of opportunities out here because it's a lot of people, so. You do hair, you do makeup, you do lashes. It's always a lot of people. It might be a little hard in the beginning to get clientele, but once you get them people rolling in, like, you Gucci. Next thing is good food. Um, I hear a lot of people say Houston has a lot of good food choices. Me, personally, I don't like spending my money on bad food, so that makes me not want to try places. But apparently, it's like a lot of food. I always see places on TikTok, and they be looking so good. Now. Let's get to the cons. My cons gonna be long and I'm only saying these as cons so you can be weird because when I was looking up stuff for Houston, people had a million pros but they don't really tell you how it is when you actually live out here. And I feel like you should know what's up before you come. First things first, Houston is expensive. Now, some people who know me might say, oh, it's only expensive to you because you live in downtown and yada, yada, yada. I'm talking about when you go out to a restaurant or something, don't go in there expecting to spend less than $50. The meal itself, the entree, 30 something dollars. Like, Houston, they gonna get their money regardless. They don't care. Another thing with the expenses, everything is expensive, so everybody has money. You know? So that's, that's one thing. Next thing, this goes into going places. Parking. I went through this on my TikTok, but the parking in Houston is so ridiculous. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You'll be trying to find a place, and there's no parking. And then if you park on the side of the road, your car will be broken into if you don't pay the people to watch it. Literally. Park on the side of the road if you want to. You're going to come back, and all your windows are going to be busted out. And they don't care if you got a piece of paper in the car. That piece of paper will be gone because they will break into your car for no reason. Like... I don't understand. People out here steal. I don't know why y'all stealing. Like, why are you breaking into my car? I'm out here trying to have a good time, go party, and you sitting here breaking into my car. Like, who does that? <sighs> Next, this is gonna be the longest one. The con, the people. Now, I was on TikTok and I had made a video and I said the people in Houston was rude because this one girl I asked her. I asked her. I told her her outfit was super cute. She looked at me like I slapped her in the face. And I've just been having a bad experience with the people. The people here, they're not as nice as TikTok makes it seem. Like everybody's like, oh my gosh, I want to make friends, yada, yada, yada. They're not nice. They're really not nice. And people are like very clicky. Maybe I'm just bad at making friends, so I don't want to deter you away. But so far, the people I've met, like, haven't been the nicest, okay? They haven't been the nicest. The dudes are nice, of course. Dudes are always gonna be nice because they trying to get at you. Now, to go into this conversation, do not, I'm gonna repeat this. Do not come to Houston looking for love. Do not come to Houston looking for love because, honey, you gonna be very, you gonna be very disappointed. Now, some people look up and they find the love of their life, but most of us, it's a no-go. I was gonna do a separate video, but but yeah, um, the dudes here are very trash. I wouldn't recommend. Y'all make sure y'all check out my one year update in Houston. I'm gonna give y'all all the tea of what I've been through in Houston so far. This is just a quick little pros and cons. Um, let me know if y'all want a part two. I can go more in detail. I know this video is super short, but I ain't wanna scare people away too much. So let me know if y'all want a part two of that video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching.